If you're a new pilot trying to get into the FPV hobby, there's one thing for certain. You're going to need a drone, a radio, and most importantly, some FPV goggles. And to be honest, the goggles could be the most expensive and biggest investment of the three. So choosing the right or wrong goggles could just make or break your outlook on this entire hobby. Now one could go out and buy some beginner goggles like I have right here, but eventually you might have to upgrade to something more premium like some fat short goggles. Or you can go the way of some walk snail or those fancy DJ goggles that I have right here. But at that point, you're kind of locked into that ecosystem. Well, the guys at DVMath had another approach and give the pilots what they really wanted. Some premium goggles that's compatible with more than 75% of the VTX protocol in the hobby. So let's take a closer look at these HD0 goggles and see why they're so special. So here it is, the long-awaited HD Zero goggles, and this thing has not been a secret by any means. In fact, quite the opposite, because DiviMath has been taking inspiration and advice from the entire pilot group to design these goggles. Now, having said that this is an open source project, meaning the design, the hardware, even software are public, and anyone can contribute to making this whole ecosystem a little bit better. Now, on the front here, you have a picture of the goggles, which is a really nice image of it with the shadow on here, so it looks like a really nice premium goggles. On the top here, you have all the contents of the box and we'll talk about that once we open this. On the bottom here you have some QR codes so you can scan these and get to the social media sites or the website to get more information about this goggles. So let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Whew, I'm excited to open this thing up. All right we got an HD0 card here on the top. And it looks like a quick start guide here. So pretty cool. This is a really nice premium uh, quick start guide here. And here you go, the goggles, the first thing that greets you. I'm so excited about this. This thing whoo, has been in the works for a long time. So here it is, this thing is, wow. All right, uh, we'll take a look at that a little bit later. And then you have some accessories here. Let's get that out. And that's it, everything else is just foam and a separator. All right, let's take a look at this accessory box and see what's in here. How do you open this up? And the first thing you see is a nice little strap here, HD0 strap. This thing is huge. That's a lot of straps. And this one here is the widest and the thickest of the bunch. You have this little clasp right here so this thing can secure to your goggles. All right, next you have a cleaning cloth here and also an update cable here for firmware for your VTX. All right, and then you have, this looks like a foam for your faceplate, which is pretty cool. So you can put this on here. And then you have, looks like a carrying case. Whoa, and some cables. All right, and so you have a traditional cable here, power cable here with the XT60 connector and a barrel on here. So this connects to the actual goggles. You have another faceplate on here for different faces. So if you have a flat or a more curved face, then you can change the faceplate on that. I don't know which one is gonna be more convenient for me or better fit for me. So we'll try that out and see which one is better for me. And here's your pouch here, really thick. And you have this little felt material in here. I'd like to see a more hard case or a premium case on here, like a hard shell case to protect my investment. But uh, for now, this is better than nothing. Some manufacturers don't even give you a pouch or a case. So that's a good start. Okay, so let's take a closer look at these HD Zero goggles, guys. This thing looks really awesome. In my opinion, it looks really good. Now you have this white, black, and red theme on here. And this is obviously gonna be subjective as to the look of it. But this, as I was a open source project. DiviMat did take a lot, and I mean a lot of advice from the public group or the pilot group while they were actually designing and making this. So this is a goggles that was designed for the pilots by the pilots. So a lot of these, these cues did come from us. So yes, this is subjective, but even if you don't like the design of this, this is an open source project. So you could easily reprint this and change the color and design of this whole shell if you want to. For me, it looks pretty good. This is a, a little bit gray greenish color on here but it looks really good and premium. Now in the front here is all a big face here. There's no antennas on here, but talking about antennas, you have four antennas right here, and these are all SMA connectors, and you can put whatever antenna you want on here, whether it be a patch or a combination stubby or omni on here, and that's what I tend to do um, with this goggles. Now talking about antenna setup on here, you probably can notice these slits on here. There's two on the top and then two at the bottom. And that's to actually hold or mount your antenna setup if you wanna put some patch antennas on here. And that's a pretty cool system that they have here. Very similar to their VRX system. Now the ones in the VRX are a little bit more narrow than this one, so they won't carry over. Now you can easily print those out for these new goggles 
or the upcoming antennas on the market should be able to facilitate or fit these or fit this wider goggles on here. Now, the next thing I notice here is this big old hump on here. Now this is a fan here, a cooling fan to cool the actual electronics and to provide ventilation for removing moisture or sweat or steam in your lens. But this is just one of three fans on here and we'll talk about the other two once we get to it. Now on top here you have the SMA antenna here for the top antennas as well as this switch right here and this is your record button. Now below that you have a honeycomb grill here and this houses your second fan to keep this whole system here cool. And to the left of that you have a port here for your power cable. Now this can be powered with a XT60 battery here and they do recommend a 2S to 6S power source. Now if you go above 6S you could damage the internals in here or if you overcharge your 6S battery that could also do some damage on here. So they do recommend between two and six S, but make sure the voltage isn't above a six S voltage. Now to the left of that, you do have your power switch and that is a welcome sign guy. It took manufacturers this long to put a power switch on the goggles. We've been asking for this for a long time and DiviMath has finally done that. It's pretty cool and that's a welcome sight. Now since we're talking about the power switch and the power source here, DVMAT does recommend if you are going to use your battery source, whether it be a 2S or a 6S battery, make sure the switch is in the off position first and then plug your battery source in here and then use the switch to power it on. Now coming to the side here, you have your actual hooks here for your actual head strap. These things are some kind of an alloy, which is really good. I'm glad that it's not plastic, so this thing should be durable in case you do drop this or you have a lot of tension on here. This thing should stand the test of time and weather, so that's pretty good. You just put this through here and then you can just clasp this. We'll do this later on in the video. Now coming to the back here, you have the actual screens here or holes for your screen and your faceplate. As I said before, you have two faceplates on here. You have a more flat one for a wider face and a more narrow but curved faceplate on here. And I suspect that this one here is gonna do me pretty well since I have more of a curved face. And I do think that this one here is gonna work. Now besides that you have these two screens on here, these are your 1080p OLED screen, good for 90 hertz, which is pretty cool. And I think there's a firmware on here that can make these whole goggles here compatible with a 100 hertz input. So that's really, really cool that they're updating this with the latest firmware so that you can use this with other VRX on the market. So these should be pretty much the highlight of this goggles. A lot of research and time went into these screens. Now all the screens has a lot of benefits to give you more vibrant colors, they give you darker blacks, and just give you a better picture overall. All right, to the left of the face, but you have another hook here for your head strap, which is pretty cool, nice uh, alloy here. And to the left of that, you have a compartment here covering your analog bay or the port for your analog bay. So yes, we talked about this thing being compatible with 75% of the VTX protocol and analog is one of them. So this thing here just covers it. You can remove it by removing this little tab right here. It exposing these pins and then you can get a little analog bay here that connects to this. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. And this is an option on the HD0 website. This is the version one of the analog bay. The version two will come with a Wi-Fi module in here as well. And that allows you to stream over Wi-Fi. Now this is the screw here or a bolt and we'll talk about that here pretty soon. And here is the analog bay. Now before I get this in here, we talk about this bolt on here and you can use that bolt to actually secure this module on here with this little hole right here. So it's as easy as lining this up, putting this in here and that should clip on here pretty easily. And there it is, it's clipped on there. Now, if you wanna secure this here permanently to your goggles, you can use the included bolt, put it through here and that should secure it to the goggles. In my case, I'm probably not gonna do that because I do wanna have this as compact as possible, but that option is available to you. Now, it's pretty cool on here because you have these little holes on here and just like any other analog goggles, you can use a analog receiver like I have here in my DJI goggles, remove it and put that in these holes. And we'll do that in the next video as we set up this HD Zero goggles. Pretty cool, we'll put this to the side here, put the cover back on here. Now the analog image coming from your HD Zero goggles should be a little bit better than your traditional goggles only because we do have a deep interlacing technology in here giving you a cleaner image from your analog receiver. Now to the left here you have another honeycomb grill on here and this is your third fan in this whole goggles and that helps to cool the equipment as well. 
Now finally we have this nice little wheel here, this jog wheel on top here, and this lets you go through the menu in your goggles. Very clicky and selective, but you also have a center knob here to actually select once you scroll to your desired part of the menu. So really nice on here, and that should be very intuitive once you have these goggles on your face. Now coming to underneath is where the fun begins because there's a lot of ports and settings on the hair. Starting from my right here, we have the HT, which is the head tracking port. You can put this to your head tracking device. So if you wanna have like a camera on say a fixed wing or something like that, once you move your head, the gyros in here will send the information to move the camera left and right. Pretty interesting and cool that's in this goggles as well. Next to that, you have the FW, the firmware port, and we talked about the firmware port or cable on here to update your VTX in your drone. Now coming to the left, you have a small port here. This is the 3.5 millimeter port, which is good for headphones and or microphones. Now this goggles has a built-in microphone in here, which is useful when you're flying, if you wanna narrate your flights, or if you're racing, you can hear your lap times. So that's a pretty useful feature, but you can also have an external microphone on here. Now this has to be a TRSS jack. Now that means tip ring ring and sleeve, which is typically what you find on a cell phone. So if you're a cell phone, you wanna hear your music or make a telephone call with your headset, that kind of plug would fit on here and that would record from an external source. Now that's gonna be very beneficial to me because I do do a lot of narration when I'm flying, especially when I'm making videos. So I can use a microphone like this, plug it into here and have cleaner audio. The same is true for people who like to fly and like to hear their drone while flying. Now I'm not aware of any VTX in the market or HD0 VTX in the market that records audio, but if you did have a VTX that can record audio, that will send the audio to this jack and you can hear the speed of the motors or the propellers while you're flying. Now to the left of that, you have an HDMI out port, which is really, really cool. This can send a signal from whatever you're seeing in the goggles to a HDMI cable. You can connect it to a monitor or a screen. You can broadcast your image on a big screen, say you're racing. Or if you have spectators next to you that wanna see what you're looking at, then this will be the port for that. Now this is a mini HDMI port, so make sure you get that appropriate cable. And that's pretty important to know uh, when we talk about the other HDMI port here in a few seconds. Now to the left of that, you have your eye adjustment here for your displays. This is both an IPD, so interpupillary distance, and also a focusing ring as well. Now this one here is between six and and minus six as well. And this is a very, very cool feature for people like me who wear glasses. Uh, obviously this is not compatible with glasses. So having these adjustments on here is, yeah, it's a, it's a lifesaver. Okay, to the left is the other IPD adjustment or visual adjustment. And to the left of that, you have the other HDMI port. This is a HDMI in, which is huge guys. Really significant on this, this whole thing here, this whole goggles here. And that's a game changer, guys. This makes this goggles hair kind of future-proof. Now, the good example is like the Walk Snail VRX right here. This is pretty cool. Um, and if you wanna put, say, Walk Snail on this, then this is possible. This goggle can accept that. But some of the other goggles like Fat Shark or Walk Snail, it's just their proprietary ecosystem and there's no way to use that goggles with other systems. Now with this one, you have an HDMI in here. It's also mini HDMI in. So as long as the technology or equipment has a HDMI out, then this can support it, which is really, really cool. This can go to anything as well. So say for example, you wanna fly on your simulator, on your computer, watch a movie in your goggles, you can do all of that with this HDMI in port. So this is a game changer. This creates a really immersive experience for all that experiences, guys. Now moving on here, you have a SD card here or a micro SD card slot on here. And that's used to save the DVR footage or videos to the SD card, as well as updating the firmware on your goggles with the SD card as well. Last but not least, you have an AV port here. This is the 3.5 millimeter AV port here input. And this is the same technology we see here in the DJI goggles V2, allowing us to use this analog module with this DJI goggles. So you have another input in here and yeah, that's pretty cool guys. Not, there's not a lot of devices that have this on here, but you can easily use that and put the AV input into these goggles and see it. Besides that, that's it for ports. This goggles here looks really, really nice. Looks like a nice, really good product. And in our next video, we're gonna set this up and power this up and see how it works. We're gonna put the antennas on here and go through all the steps to set this up if this is your first goggle. So if you're interested in that video, hit that subscribe button there for you to be notified whenever I do drop that video. Now, if you're looking for a nice drone to complement these goggles, I have one right here. 
This is the Emax Hawk Apex. This is a racing drone made specifically for the HD0 system, taking advantage of the low latency system. I've done a review on this one. I'll leave a link right here so you can take a look at it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.